No, it's vector question. Oops. Right, and here we go. So we've got this uh, OABCD. So OACB is a parallelogram, and OACB is a parallelogram. So the first one's a trapezium, and the second one's a parallelogram here. We know B is the midpoint, so we know this is the roughly the same as this, and M is the midpoint. And if it's a parallelogram, we know that this is the same as this, uh, and M is the midpoint. So O to A is equal to A, so let's add that in. And we know that uh, O to B is worth B, so let's add that in. Um, we need to we show that, or so we're given that if we multiply OC by something, we get the same as BM, where K is a scalar, and we want to work out the value of K. So first thing first, let's kind of work out the different bits. Let's work out BM and OC. So let's work out BM first. So B to M. So B to M means we're going to travel up to C and down to M. I suppose I could go the other way, but I'm going to go B to C plus, and I'm going to go half this distance because this is the midpoint plus half of C to D. Well, B to C is just the same as this, so that's just an A plus half of C to D. Well, that's a minus A. And then this is a forwards B. But we want to do half of it, so it's half of brackets, which gives us uh, A minus half of A is half an A plus half of B. Or we can write a half and factorise it, A plus B. Okay? If we did the same thing, so we've worked out BM, if we did the same thing for OC now, let's do it over here, let's find OC. Well, O to C, well, we're supposed to go across and then up, or up and across, it doesn't matter. It's just an A plus B. Oh, that was easy. And then we can see that if we compare these, BM is, well, if you compare these two things, the only difference is that, um, that what would we have to multiply by this to get the same as this? Well, we're going to have to times this by a half, aren't we? So K is equal to half. And that's it.